Hello everyone, welcome back to LTS uh, Plays Dead Cells. I just did the daily. Feeling good about this game, so I'm going to continue. I've noticed that I've picked up the Swift Sword, which I had uh, recently, and also the um, the Bloodthirsty Shield, which I had recently. The Swift Sword I had in the um, in the in the daily that I've just completed, uh, and it went really, really well with the. Uh, Bow. Which bow was it? The um, the 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 one where you have to. The one where you have to. Did I just? Yes, that that counted. That's very upsetting. Um, the the instinct. The yeah. I don't know. Let's keep what we've got. Uh, you know where you the the timing bow. So uh, there's two things to sort of mention right here. First of all. We did suggest that maybe um, trying to parry zombies is not my strongest point right now. Probably quite clear on account of how I have taken damage against a zombie trying to... Uh... He tried to duck and he wasn't ducking because he was using his sword. That's upsetting. Um, it was the damage against the zombie that got me just now because uh, I, I tried to parry it and I'm bad at that. The damage against that bow, that was just me trying to duck out of the way of the bow, finding it wasn't an option, <laughs> uh, but not being able to do anything about it. But the other thing that we learned, thanks to Halcyon leaving a comment, which is good, good boy, good practice, do that more, uh, is that you can't get more than one uh, health rebate from the same enemy by parrying. So we would not have been able to even uh, entertain the notion of parrying this thing over and over again because I would only work the first time anyway so we're just going to have to get better at the game that's the only option there is no way of beating this game except to be good at it which uh, I, I think is just gatekeeping to be honest um, and if that's the way you want to run a game fine but uh, I'm going back to Isaac no, I'm teasing, of course. Uh, I am going back to Isaac, but not for a while, and I'm not necessarily going to abandon this one as well. Uh, in fact, it's been a while since I mentioned Isaac. Have this. Um, I don't mind the idea that you have to be good at a game to beat it. I do mind the fact that I'm currently not. And I also mind the fact that I don't know. I think we're going to go uh, Brutality today, and the reason I think that is that I remember there are a few things for us to unlock that fall under the brutality uh, heading sort of thing in the game, right? So, we've got enough cells if we don't uh, earn our 30 kills, which is looking more and more likely as I waffle on. If we don't earn our 30 kills, then we at least can put one cell in something and then they're all red. Basically, all the options are red. So... You just you just used up the last second of your buff. You horrible man. There's also these things, but you have so much money. It's almost not worth not buying that, right? Yeah. I know that I just replaced one shield with another shield, and the reason that I may not be a good idea is I don't know if I'm gonna stick with shields in this run, because as I was gonna say. Um. <laughs> okay, Just give me my money back. I don't care. Uh, so I was going to say, I think maybe we are going to benefit from uh, brutality because we're probably going to put money in a brutality weapon, unlock that, and then roll with that for a while, at least until then. Uh, that's our thirty, by the way. And I've already replaced the shield, so maybe this is not going to be shield run and it never was uh, destined to be. But here we are. We always get a shield uh, and a ranged weapon and a sword, because... I don't know. I I'm guessing <laughs> if I'd been paying attention, as mentioned. Uh, oh, I didn't mention. That was the daily. Go back and watch that. You'll t see me talk about paying attention. Oh. I wanted some drink and then I realised that I was going to... Do what I did. <laughs> End up doing what I did. I don't know if I can get through the entire level. Only taking a uh, maximum of 30 hits. I mean, this could be good. Last shot is a critical hit. So 4 plus. <sighs> Never really made much use of throwing knives before. 
It's also purple. The grenade is a red weapon. Well, a red skill. It's got 16 second cooldown, which means we're going to have to take the cooldown modifier mutation. Do you know, I'm not really a fan of any of these options. Um, I think we take this just because it's there. <laughs> uh, one, They're all better than, than something that I have. It's whether the thing that they're better than is something I want to get rid of. Um, so let's go with... Let's go with, maybe not a ranged weapon. <laughs> the great description there. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that. Uh, and we might as well take this. Let's do that as well. And then we'll put the rest of it into something that's gonna be valuable in the future. Soldier, res soldier resistance. It's just HP, it's just straight up an HP mutation. I'm gonna replace both of the things that I'm not really using. Can't sell that. Can sell that. Uh, I don't know if we really want to consider maybe having a um, a purple build entirely here. That might be good for us. I don't want to spend the money on that. That's way too much money. I'm gonna leave these. Uh, well, I like the ice cream. I, I, I let's spend the money on that. But I don't want to spend the money on things I'm really not sure about. And then, we'll take the cooldown one for now, because we do have a grenade. There's our HP restored. I was saying at the end of the daily, in case you missed it, which you shouldn't have, it was only four minutes long. Five minutes at the max. Well, it might have been five minutes because I was waffling on about um, my uh, inability to pay attention. Um, well, that's what we want. <laughs> I honestly believe that this is exactly what I want. Because it's red. <laughs> uh, there's, there's no two ways about it. We're going for a brutality run, and I genuinely believe... I mean, feel free to at me, or whatever, but... Um, I would rather have a red weapon that we can scale later than a weapon that is immediately good. Just because the opportunity to get another red weapon... We can upgrade the red weapon. Um, and, you know, it it plays into our hands, sort of thing. The, the other one, I, it's going to confuse me later. It's trouble. A purple weapon like that is going to make me think, oh, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should be um, spreading our, our loyalty between red and purple in the, uh, in the old, uh, oh, you did it wrong. That was terrible, actually. I shouldn't have taken that either. So, I mean, you, you can probably see for yourself how my attention tends to waver because I was talking about how my attention tends to waver and then I got distracted by um, talking about the game, which, I mean, maybe the whole point of me uh, narrating this game is that you hear me talk about stuff about the game, but... Um, I don't know. <laughs> you see? Like... Who cares? Does anybody care? Do you want me to just waffle on about my own mental problems? Or would you like to hear me explain the theory that I have whilst playing a game that I have no qualification to uh, wax the arrest call upon in the first place? Um, I feel like the mute skewer, although it has a uh, lets you get behind your enemy sort of job, I don't know if it's actually any good for us because... I don't know what it's um I don't really know what its primary effect is. It feels like the get behind your enemy thing is a secondary effect that essentially um, assists other effects. Because it's not hard to imagine uh, at least one weapon where getting behind your enemy is a good idea. But so now I don't know if um I I want to use a meat skewer to like synergize with a weapon that crits when you get behind your enemy when I've already got a weapon that crits when you're just nearby your enemy, which is good enough for me. Miss. I didn't miss. It was dead already. So, 
I've taken the meat skewer because I've previously used the meat skewer, but it says it shoots an arrow in front of me. That's a little bit of extra damage. But it doesn't seem to have like a, a direct benefit right now. I heard that. So now I'm in a position where I need to be super careful because I feel like because I've already managed to uh, beat 33 enemies without taking damage, I should now be able to beat 60 enemies without taking damage. Yikes! <laughs> my dude! That was a bit rude at my dude. Like, do I care about being able to get behind my enemies? I t I, I'll be honest, the meat skewer is not doing me a disservice right now. It's not problematically bad. Um, I just don't know how long it will last. The infantry bow has been considerably more use. Uh, and I am glad I took it, even though I... Even though the reward for doing well on the first floor... Scroll. Um, was a really good weapon in any other situation, basically. Uh, I say that. It means I have to concoct... Uh, essentially a survival build that would make the, uh, the, the the bow that I won. Not a survival build, a tactics build that would make the one that I won worth anything. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there was. Mind you, I forget if it was pure purple or if it had a secondary colour as well. I'm going to explore this floor more because I'd like to beat 60 enemies without getting hit. Which I think I can do. Um, I'm getting a little bit better at the sewers. Despite the fact it likes to surprise me. Try me. Uh, and, and trap me in explosions as well. That's the, the second thing that it does, which is somewhat to my chagrin. We've only got 16 left to kill. If we can find 16 more, that's going to be grand. Also, I don't know if I want to go to the ancient sewers. That is scary too. Also, I haven't used this. Nice try, Sunshine. Hmm. Still not convinced about this um, meat skewer because basically everything else I can think of might be better. At least all my uh, my accustomed weapons I think would be better. <laughs> um, I kind of don't really want to do this. What's over there? You can see from here, probably. I'm not interested in a barnacle. I'm not going to risk taking damage eight enemies away from glory for an, uh, an item that I'm actually not going to use. Although, I did unlock this crow thing, and I don't know how to effectively use that either. Here's some free stuff that's even better. Uh, swarm is red, and I don't know how to use the wings of the crow, even though I just unlocked it. So, sorry, uh, new thingy, but... You're not as good as thingy I've used before. Which is kind of going to be true in a lot of situations anyway. Um, I would very much rather use an item that I'm accustomed to than um, attempt to make use of <laughs> something that I honestly don't understand. Yee! There we go. Uh, 58. Nine. One more. Come on. Don't get hit. He's done it. What a legend. Also, people do keep reminding me that I should be... Um, I can pick that up without taking damage. People do keep reminding me that I should be just spamming these biters because they die pretty quickly, but the cooldown is essentially zero. So. And there's the damage. So that was good timing. I think uh, things like the biters, I tend to go in a little bit gung-ho. So... What happens there is I, I want to use the biters as much as possible, so I leg it into a situation I should not be in just to get the opportunity to use them. Uh, and that's why I took damage, but you know, I was also feeling a little bit more confident because I don't have to not get hit anymore. That was horrible. I don't know how I ended up over there. The game sort of locomoted me into the lava, into the, the, the goo. And I was very much stuck between uh, a goo and a explodey place. So. 
Made by decision? <laughs> that, it was a correct decision. Yeah, take the curse sword. Uh, and just never get hit ever again. There's the ramparts. I think I will take the ancient sewers path. That's a that's an interesting suggestion. It's an infantry grenade four. Which uh, you can spam very, very quickly. That makes a bleeding target, which I can't do right now. I can reforge that modifier. I'm going to do it. Again, know your weaknesses, right? I know that I'm poor at using the swarm. I like the swarm. It's a good weapon, especially with the fact that you can just spam it so ludicrously often. Please let me go to the, the one that's over there. There we go. That was not worth it. I could have walked in that time. Uh, but, you know, know thyself. I tend to take damage when I have something like the swarm because I feel like I have to sort of go in and, and get them in the middle of the the fray to get any value out of them, but that's not actually true. Or store. It looked solid before it was broken down. Message. Keep this door locked at all costs. If the rats get out, they will spread the malaise. Rats are always a prime suspect in times of illness. I know, I kind of like rats. I'd be surprised if it was rats that made a hole like that. Yes, it may have been something that is related to rats in you know, in the same sort of way that dinosaurs are related to birds. Or the Hulk is related to Bruce Banner. I see a thing up here that we should look at as well. Oh! Sold. That's a 2 plus. What have I just picked up? A 3. Yep, can't, can't uh, even remotely suggest that this is bad. And I, I know the meat skewer says it can get you behind your enemy. It hasn't. <laughs> so far. Uh, I'm perfectly happy with me getting behind the enemy myself, and if I'm in front of the enemy, I will shoot it instead. How about that? Crits from behind, crits from in front. I spill water on my keyboard. It's only a small amount, but... Oh yeah. You're gonna let me in here as well. I appreciate. No. No. Maybe. It's 5 plus, which is way better than this. So 13... This has been a very fractious level, don't you think? Uh, a run. We've replaced our weapons repeatedly, and yet we've still got 15,000 money left. <laughs> it's just silly. Um, what's Vengeance do? More deeps and less damage after taking a hit. Could be good. Um... The thing is, with a large number of um, mutations available to us, I don't actually know what's good and what's bad anymore. I like freeze. And I did just sell my freeze. Yes. Yes. Spent most of our money, but I'm okay with it. And I really like Exploding Remains as well. It's strange, because I don't really understand why. Uh, more deeps than 6%. So, <clears throat> do you think within 3 seconds of taking a hit against the Hand of the King, I'm likely to get hit again? This is an op Actually, this is an opportunity. We should reset our mutations before we fight the Hand of the King, because I'm not going to get much value out of the combo. Because uh, we're not going to kill an enemy. We're not going to get much value out of melee because we're not going to have more than two enemies near us except for when the elites are around. We don't really care about those. Uh, the health potion is probably a good one. And the vengeance is probably a good one. So for a, um, a, a, a brutality build like we've got, some of these are good for single target levels like the Hand of the King. And some of these are good for multiple target levels. So I'm going to take, um, take, take melee for now. A melee for now. Uh, and hope that we'll get way more money as time goes on. Um, we're not really short of... Well, we are now short of money, but we're not short of money in the sense of it's showing up. So uh, I'm happy to spend it all right now, basically, and see what we get later. Mm. If we don't have a thousand money at the end of the game, if we get that far, you know, knock on wood, then I'll be surprised. Uh... We are slightly less likely to get that far because despite my earlier and very opinionated opinions when I was first playing this game, I've come around to the idea of shields being actually really quite good. 
Um, so, oh, I do like the war spear, but it's not as good as what I've got. No, no, this is good enough, and we haven't got any money. Um, it was the shield, pretty much in its entirety, that... Contri that uh, it was a major contributor to us getting to the end of the previous uh, run. With any of the uh, fluidity and... Is alacrity a word that I want to use here? I don't know, but I'm using it. Um, you know, it's a very fluent and, and accomplished run. Uh, wh whereas previously we've had quite a lot of trouble with getting anything out of <laughs> even the most uh, basic of, uh, of runs. But, you know, we, we've unlocked a, a lot of... Can you let me move? That's the thing that I'm having trouble with here. I'm just stuck. You're forcing me to stand there and take damage, and I, it makes me very sad. Um, I don't know if it was the shield or me or a combination of things or, you know, our newly available... I didn't realise that that was still uh, waiting to attack me, actually. Learn something new. When you slow down the... Um, when you slow down the mushroom, you also slow down its ability to create spikes. The spikes are not happening themselves. How about that? They are being facilitated by the existence of the mushroom. I want that. Thank you. We're not doing so well in terms of not getting hit this time around, but it's the difficult level. We know about the difficult level. Plenty of money and secret runes on the floor as well, so we're already back. If we got to the Hand of the King now somehow, we could afford to reforge ourselves. Why? The dude keeps stepping forwards in the most obnoxious and useless of times. I do not want you to step forward when there are spikes there, my son, my dude, my bro. I thought we were in this together, you know. I thought we were on the same side. But I'm starting to wonder if, in fact, you are against me. And it is actually me versus the game versus the protagonist. That was very, very satisfying indeed. Those um, bloody mushrooms have done nothing but ruin my runs since time began. There's no way I'm going to be able to get 60 kills if those mushrooms are allowed to live. If they're allowed to continue on this mortal coil, if they're allowed to be part of this flaming game. You know? Here you go. Nice. So those things are much easier to uh, completely obliterate when you can just burn them and slow them at the same time. I'm hearing noises. What noises am I hearing? Oh, it's the heating. I know that Jen's out again, so keep expecting that any noises I'm hearing is Jen returning. Why? Well, I, I didn't even need to be here. This is. Oh! <laughs> uh, I am very grateful to the game, whilst it continues to aggravate me in the extreme degree by putting off screen mushrooms that cause spikes in my escape route so that I get hit and take a ludicrous amount of damage. I am very grateful to the fact that you can dip your toe in the. Uh, in the green drink there and not actually take damage because I didn't know how to avoid putting my foot in the water there. This is a powerful grenade for... I'm gonna keep just one. I don't need two. I appreciate the ice grenade. Um, it helps me against these obnoxious as heck mushrooms. Me and I'm happy to wait. You know, put a little bit of time behind the... Uh, Nice. Uh, behind each encounter to make sure that I'm not going to run through explodey things and hopefully not through any uh, spikes as well, but I can't guarantee that. You know, a little bit more caution is going to be perfectly fine. I can manage that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> There you go. Right, do I want this? Nerves of Steel 3 Legendary. 919 crit deeps. This is the one that I was talking about that I used in the daily. This 
is one of my favorite weapons. The infantry bow is great for being crits at close range. We've basically already got crits at close range, although I do admit get behind an enemy is not always the easiest thing to do. Um, but the, there's n you can't sell me against that, I think. The nerves of steel, you absolute swap. Genuinely, I thought that would kill it with one shot. <laughs> I'm so, uh, oh, I'm upset with myself now. I just stared at it, you know? I need to get more uh, in tune with certain aspects of the game, and that's one of them. I... <laughs> if you're wondering why I put that in tactics, I thought I'd already uh, selected the red one, and then I was trying to roll. Well, I was trying to jump. Um, I hadn't. So... It just so it, it moved. I was trying to move away. I was trying to walk. <sighs> See, this is the attentiveness problem that I keep having. What have you got for me, son? No invisibility for me. Don't really appreciate that. I've got a ruby amulet. I was hoping to get um, some uh, some. Uh, blueprint out of that. Don't know if that's always or even ever a possibility. If you've already beaten the elite that's in the, uh, the, the rune thingy there, I don't know if you can ever actually get a um, another... Mm! How, are you, how have you got this much range? That's what really gets me. It's always the mushrooms. It's always the flaming mushrooms. There's another... Leave me alone, you absolute dickhole. <laughs> like, I, I, I was fighting perfectly well, and then there's this mushroom that's just... <laughs> it's not important. It has no bearing. It's not allowed in this fight. It's a camper. You know, it should be being... It should be being cheat hacks. You know, obliterated, removed from the game for, for... For not playing... What hit me there, though? Come on, now. I was in the air and there was nothing near me. Nice. There was nothing... Uh, there is, I have to remember that you can't... Um, can't shoot quickly and get a crit anymore. It's a thing that I've not quite internalized properly because I am clearly... I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I'm trying to shoot quickly, but... Uh, 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 because I've got the, the way better version of the bow. There's a whole bunch of stuff to explore as well. Because I've got this new way better version of a bow, it's actually a different mechanism for getting the crits. So I have to wait. Have to more. So what was I saying just earlier about taking everything on a little bit more slowly? I'm not going to get trapped in there again. Fool me once, shame on you. Twice. Shame on you. Stop trying to fool me. Why are you being a bully? You know? It doesn't matter how many times you fool me. Especially if they're all different. Like, uh, you can keep trolling me over and over again. And eventually I'm just going to be... You know, just tired of your shit, mate. <laughs> Stop being a dick. It's not funny. You know, no one... No one appreciates your antics and high... Whatever you want to call it, you know? Everyone's just a little bit sick of you just always being there with some sort of silly prank like you're 12 years old. It's not It's not like you've got these like intelligent, you know, uh, brain teasers of, of puzzles. You're just saying, hey, it's in my left hand and it's actually in my right hand. That doesn't count as fooling me, my dude. Okay? You know, you, you think you're clever, but you're not. You're just, you're just tiresome. Everyone's sick of it. I said there was a lot to explore, but it doesn't seem like there is. There's just that weird const construct there that I can't get into. So actually, apart from this little bit in the middle near the chest room, I think we're good to go. Did really, really well, despite the fact we didn't make it, uh, with the number of kills before we got hit. And of course, in every single situation, when I was aware of getting kills without getting hit, some mushroom somewhere put spikes up in my grill. Uh, and ruin my day. You know, perfectly fair fight. 
me v three or four enemies, and then there's just this external influence that has no bearing on the situation. Oh. It's just all right. Uh, this all seems fine to me. I'm gonna continue to try not taking a hit if it's all the same to you. It's very similar philosophy in Isaac, but anything that um, anything that triggers or, or is predicated on you taking damage. Uh, I mean, I can't. It's predicated on you taking damage. Uh, I no, realizing that the insufferable crypt is in fact conjunctive items. Probably should have been prepared for this, but I kind of wasn't. That was good. These do have backs, by the way, which is nice. Um, but I also kind of just like being able to do that. Because <laughs> the first thing it hits is what gets critted. I think that's why I'm kind of approving of it um, rather than the, um, the, the infantry grenade. No, the infantry bow. It's, it's basically and almost entirely because um, oh, could have done that. Almost entirely because the infantry bow requires you to be nearby. <laughs> I know that we sort of got a stalemate going on there because of how I screwed it up, but at the same time. Um, so yeah, being able to First of all, crit this thing from across the map. Pretty useful. Provided I get it right. Can't be expected to get it right every time. But I'm getting it right most times. If it hits at all, I do. What was that? I've gone quiet. I have nothing to say. I did get some damage done. That's good. A bit more? So, yeah. As long as you... As long as your shot has a crit in it gonna crit. That's what I like. Oh, hello. That's what I like about this one. So are we gonna, uh... Whereas, I think the infantry bow, even though it had, um, shots pierced the first enemy, both enemies had to be close enough to the infantry bow for the, uh... How do you get to be off-screen and then just charge it? There's a lot of that damage that's come from off-screen, in my opinion. There's another one. It, just in this particular run, can't have a notice. Seems to be a little bit of a, a theme. Whereas when I don't necessarily notice that something has gone out of its way to try and flank me, and, and, and then has managed to do so, and then I'm sitting there a little bit like a lemon, with what you might call egg on my face. Oh, that was no good. Trying to trying to recover from a situation I probably shouldn't have been in the first place, but you know, please take damage from the fire. I have a I have a skill that lets me do fire, and I would like you to be hurt by it. Where are these? Come down here. Oh, this bullshit! Can you just sort of stay in the corner? Does that work? Oh, don't what? <laughs> Charge me. Fight me. Come at me, bro. What are you some sort of coward? Hit me! What's this? No, none of this. This was not in the plan. Well, seems to go a little bit better than I expected. Pop up. Let me uh I don't care which one I hurt. As long as I hurt one of them. Now, try to get past it with a roll, but it, it wouldn't let me. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, again, I don't stop in time to avoid the uh, damage from. Whoa! Why did you get? <laughs> why did you? Where did you all come from? How many of you are there? Yeah, I have this. So I think what half a trick I'm going to have to learn in this particular situation is to uh, not be there. So 
so long. That was nice. Appreciate that. You're going to come at me. Yeah, sorry, that time. What even? There's three of them. Did you see that? I thought there was only two at this point. Whoops. No. Nice. All right, one more. Come on. I know what you're going to do. In charge me, then I'm going to bait you. <laughs> well, this is actually going really well, considering it's uh, conjunctivitis. Oh, conjunctivitis, and I've been terrible at this in the past. Nope. 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 Thank you for not letting me use my grenade when it would have been a bad idea to do so. Hehehehe. <laughs> Quite right. Try and get into the corner and duck, I guess. No. <laughs> this is not correct. I, I still have no concept of how to fight that. How to avoid that uh, particular uh, attack. Any information on how to beat that attack is still very much appreciated. I should look at the wiki. I mean, I'll be very... Um, very unwilling to suggest that at any point in my future there's going to be an opportunity to uh, beat this particular Joker without getting just completely owned. <laughs> Certainly without taking damage. But we're getting better at it. Do I want the sanctuary or do I want... Is it still village up here? No, it can't be. It must be the, uh, the graveyard. Well, we haven't been to the graveyard too long because uh, I keep going the ramparts way because I keep carried it out trying to use the um, trying to use the um... ooh 20% that's nice keep carried it out trying to use shields oh, no cells left obviously I'm not even doing so we we just picked up a new uh, blueprint actually which was what was it <laughs> Oh, it was uh, an upgrade to this guy. Right? No, the other one. Was it an upgrade to this dude? Let's we'll just see what we've got in this uh, small small joker over here. Minor forge. Got a lot of money again. We haven't picked up anything new particularly. Honestly, I'm happy with this. Am I? Okay. Another 20% damage, that's nice. Damage to a bleeding target. Are we causing bleeding? No. Once more we're feeling? Poison biters. Yeah. We've got a survival point, which is not that useful to us, but 833. Uh, it's kind of useful to us because it puts our HP that much further up than it would otherwise have been. We've only got 2,000 HP. And that primarily is because we haven't found a scroll yet. Or we've not found too many scrolls that let us not use red. <laughs> and the goal is to not use red, right? I would like this, thank you. That paid for one of our reforges straight away. I'm gonna go out of my way a little bit more to fight the enemies in this zone as well. Because I know that they can be mildly irritating and pesky. Yes, exactly like that. Especially these ones, which uh, persist in producing more enemies. Uh, I'd like to be able to have some confidence in fighting the, the losers that show up like that. These bat thingies. Gonna hit that? Nope. How about this? I feel like we've improved our bow. Also, the biters um, make a big difference because they do draw aggro. Especially for things that I am no fan of in the first place. Sell this, don't care. I mean, you could just run through this level and just not fight anything. <laughs> um, I'm sure that is a valid option in, in other situations. But not in my situation, because I am bad ass. Why are you climbing? Wouldn't climb up it when I wanted you to go up there. Ow! Genuinely thought that you were in the uh, range of that grenade. You guys move faster than I anticipate. I have an itch and it won't go away and it's affecting my that's my excuse. Okay. Why why do you get to be 
You get to be gone. There you go. Wow. This is not going well. Taking way more damage than is even remotely sensible in a, a, a run like this. this is a, we've got amazing weapons. There's no reason to be getting hit by anything right now. Especially since I can just wave my sword and things die. <laughs> Should not be taking damage. There we go. Nice. Do kind of appreciate the infantry bow for just letting me shoot things and, and, and crit them. Uh, don't make me... Yeah, I was going to say, don't make me put my money where my mouth is with that particular one. If I could get a, a legendary infantry bow in the same vein as the bow that we already did get. I have to get it from the other side. Oh. Yeah, okay, what? <laughs> um, I would be very happy to accept it. I like just chucking stuff. <laughs> a big explosion and everything's dead and I don't have to worry about it. That was... Why were you facing that way? don't really want to kill you. You can live. I will show mercy. Prisoner. Just things to read. Ah, here's an opportunity to decide which one gives us most HP, which is survival. Even though we have uh, a reasonable number of survivals anyway. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. I have no excuse for that. I'm going to make an excuse for that. Fight. I've lost my uh, timing on the bow, unfortunately. Which is... Pesky because it means that I've. Uh, it just interrupts the flow, you know. I thought I was doing alright, and now all of a sudden I've forgotten how to use the bow, which is one of my main crit weapons. And now, so I have to sort of put thought into it. I think the problem is having to put thought into anything. Um, which I guess is pretty obvious if you consider the fact that by talking crap and not thinking about anything. I can sort of Whoa, hey, 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 hey. get through the, the game much more effectively than if I'm actually trying to, you know, pay attention. Much as I was saying that paying attention is neither in my forte nor in my best interests. That's amazing. <laughs> powerful grenade is so powerful. Oh, I'm all a flutter. Um... Actually, not paying attention is letting my hind brain do the all the work. But please, please, um, come, please. <laughs> do the second jump. But the uh, the fact that in fact is not working that way is causing me issues because when your brain forgets how to do the thing, was there not a zoomy back to the start? Would you go over here? Why do you f get? Why are you so bad at falling? Get yeah, there. It what does that look like on the map? It doesn't very well. I'm appreciating the strength of our run. I'm not making the most of it, but I I do appreciate it. I am aware of it. I'm not suggesting that the strength of our run is uh, without merit. No. Oh, don't forget the biters draw aggro. That was helping me a lot before. So we can go this way, or we can go that way. Right? Nope. <laughs> we can go that way. Have Why? I'm yelling, and I know that I'm getting irate and aggravated, but that specific situation, all I'm doing is jumping in a normal platform game, and oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Do you see how aggravated it can be? Because there's no reason for him to have done that. It's just this weird sort of... Maybe that specific encounter is intended to, to, to make it difficult to get across those fights, even though it looks easy. But it wouldn't be difficult. This is just silly. I've, I've given up. Just don't tilt, you know. I've tilted because we were on like 30, 30 kills or something. 
And then this one bullshit happens. It wasn't like I failed uh, a challenge. There was no... Ow. That was not correct. Um, that was a challenge I failed. That one I deserved to take damage on because I was... But then, if I hadn't already been irate at the fact that I feel like I was sort of hoodwinked into taking damage earlier, this was a complete guess. You have to get the gardener's key from... Isn't that in a different level? Uh, from somewhere. There's more baddies. Appreciate that I don't have to... Uh... Ooh! Two things. <laughs> First of all, why were you facing the wrong way, you nonce? Second of all... Um... I didn't realize that the charge up of the SWAT from that very, very pesky uh, enemy that turns into the flying birds is similar to the charge of the zombies that I'm so bad at dodging. <laughs> Luckily, I dodged it anyway because I was out of range, but. What? I'm so mad at that previous thing that I just. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Let me out. Let me just, just, just give me this cursed chest. We'll see who's cursed. Brutality. Uh. Hang on. <laughs> Is this better than a grenade? It's, yes. It's better than this grenade in most respects, so I'm going to take it. Um, normally I wouldn't. The grenade does have one main benefit over the trap, which is that it spreads in, in spreads extra ice in water. Die. Okay, good. Whew. This thing's going to turn into baddies. I'm not going to want to fight. Where are they? <laughs> there they are. Just keep doing crits from a distance and we'll get there. Right, four left. Problem is, those uh, baddies do not count. Those flying things that spawn from the the enemy don't count. Yeah, no, give me wings of the crow. We tried that, didn't we? It was no good. Uh, against my my curse. But it's okay. I don't have to get down there. <laughs> Probably this way. The long-winded route. Don't, um... Don't idiot this up. It's nothing but... Pure death. You're just trying to wind me up now. Uh, um... <laughs> It would be foolish of me to assume that they are exempt from the curse. I, I nearly... I nearly cried. <laughs> Two. One. Nothing, nothing died as a result of that. <laughs> In your face, curse. Now that I can get hit, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm taking a little bit more uh, of a risk, and of course, if I treated the entire game like I couldn't get hit, basically if you have the curse sword, you're basically guaranteed to get amazing stuff at the end of each level, because, you know... You've already fulfilled the, uh, you've already fulfilled the terms of the amazing stuff at the end of the level by fulfilling the terms of still being there to get it. But I I'm not into the, uh, no, we've already done it once and it was good enough. I feel like I've done the, the right, that's like a re-roll in Isaac that you, gets you from a, a, a okay place to an amazing place. Don't do it again. It's, it's the same principle. I do like, um, do like the torch. 
I don't think this is a run for it. I'm afraid they're going to have to sell it. Also, I do not believe... It doesn't look like that water is icy. So, uh, it looks like the... Uh, the particular effect of the baddies exploding when I stab him. It, it was right here all along. Is only uh, it doesn't it doesn't work the same as the ice grenade, so it's not as powerful as the ice grenade. That's really bad. In case you're wondering, I'm having a bit of trouble getting behind enemies because they're all a little bit too close together, which is something I should probably address. Uh, in my own gameplay rather than just complaining about the enemies, but I'm going to complain about the enemies being too close together because this is my style of play. You know, just do badly, say the game is unfair. I want to understand that whenever I'm complaining about the game, I do understand that ultimately I could be better at the game and therefore not encounter the, not have a problem with the problems, as it were, so to speak, etc. Anything over here? No. Um, is that everything? I think we're good. I'm not going to open that cursed chest for anybody. But I still feel the necessity. It's not like I am doing badly at the things that I can predict and understand. Oh, that was good today, actually. Um, I'm doing badly at things that I can't foresee and that annoy me. It causes a bomb to appear when you kill an enemy with a non-melee attack. Do I need this? <laughs> I don't think any of these are any good. I'm just avoiding putting um, money into putting sales into things that are. What? I can nearly afford it as well. I wouldn't, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I'm avoiding putting money in, uh, putting sales into things that are just going to immediately unlock that we're not going to use. Um, also, what are we about to go into? The Forgotten Sepulchre. Yes. This is multiple enemies, we'll keep our... I don't think there's another boss now. I think there's only three bosses in the game. There's more than three bosses in the game, but... I... <sighs> yeah, because we didn't fight the concierge. We fought the, um, the other loser. It would be foolish of me to try... Um, to... Uh, open a cursed chest in the Forgotten Sepulchre, because I'm assuming that the Vasta Narada count is enough damage to just outright kill you. I thought that there was a wall there, honestly. I would like this to be a piercing shot. I feel like that would be really useful. Right, the, the light. <laughs> Don't let the light kill you. I... I at once need... Um, to go fast and also to not die. So if you would be so kind as to provide me with some illumination. I don't know what I'm illuminating from there. It must be the... Um... Ow. It must be the uh, shop doing me the great service of lighting me. Ooh. Might as well take it. I guess why not? Uh, let's explore some more. Can't get through there. <laughs> Not how it works. Mm. Ah, a little bit of a, a respite here. Appreciate how many more teleporters there are in this particular level just because of the ludicrous number of uh, lights that are required to make it a, a balanced game. Not as if this is a balanced game. Okay, stop with your... Stop with your belly aching, it's not that bad. I gotta say, I do appreciate that there's uh, it's as much on me. Uh, it's entirely on me to get better because the game, other people can do it, right? So I shouldn't be upset that the, that the um, mushrooms are difficult, for example, because everybody has the same amount of information. Then what if everybody has the same problem? But they haven't changed them. <laughs> you know, many, many play tests later, and no one's actually decided that they're unfair and they should be removed or altered somehow. The the amount of 
telegraphing that you get has been sufficient for other players. It's just I'm bad at video games, so I should be treated differently. That's basically what I'm saying. Um, it's not like I'm not playing on easy mode as well, right? This game gets way harder. Nice. No. Whoa. Thank you, uh, Biters, actually. In that situation. Oh! In that situation. Uh, don't take damage. Don't take damage. Don't take damage. <laughs> I've already taken damage. I must have got hit by the Vasta Narada and not noticed, which is really annoying because the thing was right around the corner. Here is my key. My crypt key. Nothing there. It looks like there should be. That is... That is bad game design right there. Rah, rah, rah. I'm complaining about it. Uh, yeah, I mean... Any seasoned gamer would expect that to be a secret. But, I mean, it's not... The, the game, in all fairness, telegraphs its secrets. Right. Okay, that's not where I want to be. So, the fact that there was no secret there, and it didn't say that there was likely to be a secret there, can't complain. Did complain. Will complain. Shall continue to complain about all things uh, forever, but... I, sh I shouldn't. I recognise when I am... In the wrong for complaining, which is always. Hey, what? I don't know what hit me. Oh, it was the returning thingy. That's okay. <laughs> Sneaky, but again, can't complain. <laughs> uh, I may be overusing my uh, skills a little bit because I don't want to give the enemies the opportunity to hurt me. But they still take them. <laughs> they still find them and take them. Stop giving me uh, brutality because I'm going to take it and it's bad for me. Right? Nice. Don't want to be there, but nice anyway. Uh, infantry both 5 plus. I don't think it's going to be any nearly. Ooh, that's very nearly as good. And I could upgrade it, but I could also upgrade this if I really wanted to. Uh, so, no. Is this now better than that? I don't think it is. So let's just take one. Make sure you swap back. Sell the infantry. Bit. This is a flipping maze of a level. Come on now. If only I could have encountered you at the speed I was going at, that would have been really nice. Sometimes I feel like I don't really get the the most out of the uh, the lights. Like, I, I feel like the light doesn't embrighten me as much as I would really like it to. It doesn't seem to last as long. Maybe it is the case and just different lights do different things. We've got 30,000, but it's 7,000 to re-roll and then 13,000 to buy something, which is basically 20. Uh, and I don't want to buy something, and if we don't like the re-rolls, then we have to re-roll again and then we don't have any money. So what is the point? Nice. I see biters. Uh, I'm not going to get the biter grenade. You can't sell it to me. There's nothing you can say that would suggest to me that the biter grenade at this point is much better. Uh, I think I'm going to get 23% HP, if you don't mind. I know I could go full on ludicrous amount of... Um, uh, red brutality at this point, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, and you... you Again, you're not here to tell me. You can fax it as much as you like, but only after the fact. Is this better? Yes. No? Why is a 3 plus a 5? It is a 5, isn't it? So I'm going to want to um, re-roll this a lot because of the fact that I'm really enjoying the fact that the uh, little explosion of, uh, of freezing is holding my enemies back. I like the little chain of frozen just that you get. Again, I, I like frozen enemies. We, we need another crypt key somehow. Must be over there. Um, but uh, I would also rather just upgrade it. If I can. So we're going to hope that the mutation Meduda... Oh, that was... That went really, really well. <laughs> Everything is happening. How was that so much better? I don't understand what I did. What's my new weapon? Nothing. There's nothing special about the assassin's dagger. I didn't even use it. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, this is better. Oil. It's basically the same, and I don't care about the gold. Be gone. Nice. I get oil and burning from smashing the ground, which means a single smash is basically one of the most OP things I can do right now. This has turned out really well, and I'm happy with it. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm playing particularly well, but I never do, because I don't pay attention, as previously mentioned. Um, but... I really do feel like this is going inordinately well. The elite just died. It just disintegrated. And I can't really ask for more than that. You know, I don't have to put any effort into killing probably the harder um, encounters that show up. I mean, maybe it was it just happened to be an easy elite, right? But here's the clock room. But I don't want to believe that. I'm not going in there. Am I? No, that's just a bunch of elite um, dark trackers, as they are known. Okay, let's get this. This turned out to be a decently good run. I'm going to get one more in purple so that we can get the HP out of it, because I would like the HP. Research note what the bodies are working up again in this darkness. And the malaise here. Nothing else in here, no? Okie dokie. But maybe a secret in here. Eh. Not worth the effort if there is. Let's go. Um, this turned out to be a really, really easy version of this level, which fills me with joy and happiness. Because we have previously just completely capitulated on a level like this before on a decent run. So we've managed to get through it. It's the last of my delicious water. Delicious ice-ish cold water. Um, we might as well just unlock all of these, I guess. Uh, keep going. So we want to upgrade our new dagger. Victims remains explode. Look at our new DPS. That's ludicrous. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Although, I mean, we're going to the... You know what? Screw it. I've got 6,000 gold left. We are now going to another single target fight. So we do have 6,000 gold. We could reforge, we could restart our mutations uh, and then do it again at the end of the level. Can attempt it. Let's see how well it works. You know, we might as well... I mean, oh. <laughs> now it's extremely expensive. Uh, let's see how well it works. Um, we take more HP. After taking a hit, way less damage, and then using a health potion is also really good. Let's cool down your skills for each enemy killed without you. We could get more DPS on our crit, which would be really good, actually. So, uh, parry, parry, food, enemy, parry, parry. Curse, ammo, more HP, food. See, that's the sort of thing you would take before the final boss. Because there isn't any food on the final boss. Traps. Take out my movement speed. Oh, I forgot how to hit. Yeah, maybe. Um, let's. I am actually tempted to go with this tranquility one. So let's try this build. I, I have learned as a result of this, it's going to be extremely expensive to. Um, put those back which means we're gonna have to fight the uh if we get to the castle we're gonna have to fight the castle with this set of things although it may um it may cost this much uh when you when you're not i got that wrong how are you allowed to turn around in this trap that seems like nonsense So another trap for you. You can turn around in the trap, which is not allowed. Wow, really we're already there? Where did my arrow go, by the way? Not quite sure what my uh, option is for 
uh, avoiding these things. Have that, have that. Got that wrong. Got that wrong. Got that wrong! Nice. Ha! That was actually really, really good. I really feel like Tranquility helped there because I managed to get really good crits from a, a, a long distance there. Uh, plus my, my traps. Upgrading that trap might not have been the clever thing to do. It's an infantry bow five again. We've got emergency triage. Uh, I don't need this. Upgrading the trap might not have been clever from a money perspective because we don't have any money left, but um, it, it really worked in, I, I don't know, did it help? What was it that was causing so much damage to that enemy? I honestly, ha I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I really couldn't. So I like just throwing money at this, uh, throwing, throwing cells at that joker there. Emergency triage. Health potions only restore 45% HP, but they used to be is increased by 300%. Completely protects you for three seconds. That sounds like it's going to be useful uh, now. Yeah, it's still 25,000, so we're going to have to deal with this. That's okay. Um, uh, presuming that it's still the case that when you go up one boss cell, you don't get to use your um, H your health thingy more than four times through the entire game, which is fine. We've used it once so far, although we have relied on the... Uh... I honestly really like Tranquility. I think it's doing us a great service right now. Whoa! I thought you were over there, so I, I ran away. <laughs> Turned out you were aiming where I had already been. The fire grenade is not quite good enough, although I can see a case for it. Stop trying. <laughs> good. If we just keep away, we'll be... Whoa, grand. Quite honestly. Our smashes are ludicrously powerful, don't forget that. We do that and then that. Look at this. We just need to get through this now, and we've picked up Instinct of the Master of Arms. I I'm being very quiet and careful. <laughs> I'm trying not to get distracted, if you understand me. Nice. Because if you can get through this... Um, we're gold. First of all, we just picked up a uh, blueprint, which I think is going to be. Uh... Oh, you grabbed onto the edge like I did not request. Yeah, I've seen that before. Don't try and catch me out with this monster. Really appreciate these biters, by the way. Um, if we can, I mean, getting a rare blueprint like that unlocked is, in and of itself, a, a goal. So we've already achieved a decent thing. No, 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 let me out. <laughs> there we go. Don't mind taking the damage because it's not like I'm trying to get through this level without getting hit before killing 60 dudes. Although that will be a, a, an achievement, right? Because we're not there. We're not there. You might be there. <laughs> yeah. Go. Appreciate the uh, opportunity to fight enemies I can deal with. <laughs> it's very rare. Oh! Didn't see that coming, actually. Even though I was watching it, I was tracking it. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Leave me alone. There we go. What is the number that's going down above my head? It's a sword, which implies kills or attacks or something. And it went down every time I fired my bow, which is interesting. It hasn't gone up again as I've been killing things. This is all fine. Have it. 
appreciate that that thing died because I didn't know it was gonna. <laughs> Ooh, ha! Oh my god, scared the crap out of me, mate. I don't have that. Nice, nice, nice. Follow me, biters. Follow me in single file, buanas. To fool the hated enemy. The range on this grenade is silly, and I love it. <laughs> Didn't see that. Kind of hoped that I would, uh, that it would stop before I had to roll a third time. It's turned out to be difficult, um, but not as difficult as I have previously had this uh, this particular level B. Um, I think a large part of my problem is that I'm trying to... It's the weapons that I've got. Um, but not just the weapons that I've got, but more the fact that I'm trying to use them effectively. Maybe a bit too often. Ow! That's the ow you use when your dog's been naughty and bitten you. I was playing too much. Happened to realize... I've got the hang of those um, Lancer things. So what's this one? I think we can manage these two. Simply because I just do this. Yeah, it's cheap tactics, but it works, okay? So don't at me. Um, it's kind of the reason I took the, the wolf snare in the first place, you know? I figured that my best bet was most likely to be to, uh... Oh my god, <laughs> I can't. Uh, to, to lock things in place and beat the crap out of them that way. So it's working. So don't, don't pretend like I have not, you know, found the, the hacks in the system that are, are allowing me to play my way, okay? Thank you for, thank you for happening to turn around at the very last moment now. Stop trying. Uh, it's a little bit pesky that those things are immune whilst they're doing that, because I'm just standing here at a safe distance. And they're just shooting nothing. I'm like, can we just move on with this? Uh, we increase tactics, which I think is probably the best one to have increased at this point. This feels like the way out as well. It's not, <laughs> but it is a thing. It's a grimoire. Anything good in it? Ladies cross being Checks the ministers, the volunteer, produce a shape as monstrosity, half man, half plant. The subject failed to survive. Plants. A bunch of strange flowers. An astonishing smell. I'm guessing that that is not <laughs> any good to me. Otherwise, I would have picked something out of it. I don't mind using uh, an entire grenade just to get that task. Done. Honestly. It reminded me of that daily that I found so stressful. Of that one daily that I never found stressful. Where did they come from? Were they just following me all this time and I didn't even notice? I do appreciate them being so loyal. A chest? At this level? I don't think it's very good. <laughs> it, it probably is good in, in a certain sense, in the sense that it's a pretty decent uh, weapon in general. I think it's good right now. I think I'm happy with my build, basically. I'm not going to change anything just in case it turns out to be, you know, worse change than it would be if I hadn't changed it. Which seems like a fair, uh, you know, it's better the devil you know thing at this stage. If this is indeed a devil of any description in the first place. No, 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 no. I didn't realize what was happening. I actually got mind flooded with that one. <laughs> Completely mind flooded. Um, I thought I'd beaten everything up, but it was not the case. Uh... Yeah, okay. Um, where, how, let me out. <laughs> I want to go. I want to leave. I want to take my uh, amazing new blueprint and just get out of here. 
without accidentally dying. We haven't needed to use any of our health thingy right now. It's astonishing. I have no idea how or why. I would have expected to be um, beholden to that thing, honestly. But somehow, we've contrived to establish a run in which everything that we've, we've got is either keeping us alive, healing us, and I've forgotten. Uh, is there anything here that heals us? Smash. More HP. We do have minus 60 damage after taking a hit, and we've got a lot more DPS when we do take a hit. But nothing is healing us. It must be just that um, particularly good damage that we have. Uh, not damage, but damage reduction that we have working for us. Um, once we take a hit. Which I, I assume happens every time we take a hit. Oh, we got in before he even managed to do the thing. That's a new one. I assume it happens every time we take a hit. Once we're outside that refractory period. Otherwise... You know, what is even life? Oi, here we go then. This must be the way out, because I've been everywhere else. Well. <laughs> Let's go over there. And see if it's down here. Getting a lot of uh, gold, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. Um, it seems of little value at this stage. Oh, my jeez. Luckily, it's an elite thing that I can actually fight. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, took some damage. That is also fine. Um, poisons enemies that wound you. Get gold as well as dodging plants of bomb. I'm going to say no. Because I like what we've got already. And that's basically the only reason. Um, I don't want to change it <laughs> if I can avoid it. Because it's working. And that's my entire philosophy right now. Don't change it. It's working. And we're going to take the purple because it has two benefits to us. Whereas the green has none. And then we're going to find this exit. And we're going to leave. And we're going to be grateful to the game for giving us all these opportunities. Some of these are very tempting. <laughs> Especially this thing. Uh, but I'm going to say no. And where... There's not much left to explore. <laughs> I managed to explore everywhere and still not find the exit. These castles are a weird shape. Probably in, in this disconnected area over here that we've not looked in properly. Say disconnected. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Assassin's Dagger 8. Would it be nice? 6, 8. No, I've got one. <laughs> it is 9, 6. Why can't I afford it? I've spent all my stupid money. 42. 44. That might have been worth buying, actually. Yikes. None of that. Um... I, I, found it. I can see it on the map now that I've learned where it is. Super pesky. It's okay. We don't have to buy that dagger. We can't afford that dagger. We've made it once again. I mean, we're consistently getting here, which is actually really good. Uh, it's an hour and a half, it's an hour and 20 minutes of a run again. Um, I apologize for how long these runs last, but uh, what, what do you want? <laughs> Squad on your skill for each critical hit. That's amazing! Give me that. Um, we can afford to re-roll our thingies, but we don't want to now because we are already in the build that we wanted to have to go into the throne room. So I'm just going to leg it through here and do it. It's been, again, these episodes do get long when we manage to get this far through. And I apologize for the amount of time that I'm basically demanding from you. Uh, but I am happy that so often we get through this game uh, with little to no real... Like... Trouble, I guess. I'd like you not to do that. Okay. 
Okay, have this. Nice. Have that. Good. We've already got through the first stage. I'm absolutely super astounded by that. Stop being weird. You're not an elite, so I'm not as afraid of you as I was about to be. You're not elite cyber. Get out of here. I'll just explode those like that. Um, nice. So with crits available as an option for uh, um, the... Uh, stop that. Right, well, I forgot about that attack. Um, with crits as an opportunity for uh, cooling down our skills, we really, really want to put money into that uh, as much as we can. Wow, you just blitz through those, huh? I don't know what you're going to do. I can't read you. Which is upsetting, because I'd like to. Nope. Why did you get stuck there? That makes you sad. Can't roll that. There is enough time to react, but my reactions are kind of terrible. Mm. So let's do this. When you go away, and we get our second crit opportunity, uh, at least time, uh, we can heal. I'm going to do it now. This is bad. Back to his best. Don't forget you can do this. Why? I want to be behind you. Not lewd, not lewd. You can't grab onto that. I'm learning. <laughs> help, help. Nice. I, I can't speak, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not an option. You're just going to have to trust me on this. Speaking is not in my uh, repertoire right now. Because I really, really have to concentrate. Because somehow, despite how well I'm doing, I'm not panicking like I usually do. We could do this, then this, then this. And you might actually end up in the uh, that hurt quite a lot. Oh, I was grabbing onto that. You meanie. Yes. Oh no. Get out of the way. Be gone. <laughs> Leave this place. I, I I've never seen this stage of the fight before, so I've no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how it is that you should be allowed to um, have this many goes at me, <laughs> honestly. Oh, you're doing that as clockmaker stuff. Are you suggesting to me that the clockmaker was all along a, uh, a, uh, a practice for this thing? They're all doing, it's doing patterns that I've seen before. I just need to know that he's about to do them. Or I can't, um, or I can't, uh, accommodate them, you know? Please continue to take damage against everything that I'm doing. And, uh, not cause me damage, because I feel very confident right now. Um, that I can just own this dude. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it has been done. I am a lot less excited about that than I actually expected to be. I was expecting to be jumping around a room that I achieved that, but I really, really think that everything that I just did right now, why have you given me a thing? 
quick, quick hits for six seconds if you quickly tilt and break shields. 300% damage cannot be sold. Uh, we've unlocked Symmetrical Lance X. I have no idea what that could possibly mean for us. Uh, apart from the fact we can now break this shield. Kill the king. I was expecting to be like outraged at how how well I did, but honestly, I think that I made the right decision to have changed my build. I actually think I picked the right mutations. It may not be the perfect set of mutations, but I think I picked a set of mutations that actually did me well. Uh, which means this is the first time in uh, Dead Cells history. No spoilers, but I just beat the game. So, uh, heck you all. Now we can start playing with single boss cells. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm going to continue to do dailies and stuff, obviously. This game has no end, right? We, we can say um, that we've beaten the game, but I'm not going to stop playing it. There's so much more to play. There's so much more to unlock. so much more to do. Oh, I really appreciate everybody watching and giving me advice and tips. Those have been actually really helpful. Like, um... What is this goo? <laughs> we go out? Can we leave? Can we jump? We can jump. Of course we can. We are a strange goo. The goo can climb walls. I didn't know that. If we don't uh, get in our body, do we have the option to not get in our body at the start of the game? What is this? Leave. No, look, watch. Yeah, we take no damage. Uh, there's got to be something, right? Oh, I can see it. Haha, hang on. Don't... Don't uh, hate me because I'm right. I honestly think that if we go up here... There's a thing, I can see it. Let me in. Ah, whatever. Uh, I am. I feel thoroughly convinced that there's a um, there's a secret here because of that door. It's pretty obvious, no? Um, maybe this door opens in another time, another place. I don't know. I love the fact you can still do a smash. Can't leave here. We have to leave here. Run duration: an hour and a minute. Uh, this says an hour and twenty-seven minutes. So, heck you. <laughs> Um, which that means we spent like 25 minutes paused. That seems a lot. I'm really, I'm really um, pleased with myself, to be honest with you. No, we, we don't get to control that bit, which is a shame. Now we get a free hunter's grenade. We don't even have to pay for our hunter's grenade. Residual cells. That contains the cells left over from your fight with the hand of the king. They'll be lost if you don't pick them up. I will pick them up. Thank you for that. 40 cells to begin with. Hey, what? Down. Press the right. Hey! I understand now. This is how you beat. This is how you get through those other gross levels. Now I've noticed. Did you see that um, up at the top there? I've seen this before. Uh, you, there's a. Um. There's. Uh, there's a blueprint. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Did I even get a boss cell? I think I have to beat it again to get a boss cell on account of how the first time you beat it, you get this skill. Old wooden shield one. Can we get back up there? No. There is a limit to how far we can go. I guess that's what that means, yeah. Uh, that's gross, but okay. We can roll our head around now. That's a thing that we knew was going to be a thing. No boss stem cells. One boss... Oh, we did pick it up. Reduces the number of health fountains. Items can be upgraded to double plus quality. Let's require the next boss. So that this is normal level. <laughs> um, we'll decide in the next episode whether I want to do that or the other. Um, I honestly have no idea. And I would also like to see if I can figure out how to get to that. I'm tempted to watch the video that shows me, but surely there's a way up. Anyway, thank you for watching. I feel really good about that. I feel like I'm actually... Despite how much I was complaining about how bad I was at the game, it actually turns out I'm perfectly capable of fighting the game as long as I make the right decisions, which we, we probably all knew to begin with. So, again, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. I hope that you have more uh, advice for me, because uh, I'm well up to that. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.